Hi guys, we're back with you. Take care of the 47. Let's continue with the series. You must done with the book, guys. Chapter 47. For the, for the second time, I found myself waiting for my wife at the end of the aisle. I would do this over and over again. I would pledge my eternal love to Vinny, vowing to marry her each day until my last breath escaped my lips, but I'm growing tired of it. But despite this being my second time, I still feel the same as I did the first. Except this time is different. This time I know what I'm doing. I know what is Love is what home is. This time is right. I can hear Finn snickering beside me, abruptly sending immature signals to warn on this other side. But I don't pay much attention to him as the door suddenly opens, revealing Vinny, who looks more genuine, who looks more, who looks more gorgeous than ever, if that's even possible. Everything is the way it's supposed to be, exactly how we wanted, how Vinny wanted. A few months ago, he, even few months ago, she had gone for hours talking about her dream home and willing to detail a summer wedding in a historic white chapel full of people that actually mean something or wasn't the best for us, in, in which I was determined to fulfill an, anything Vinny wants, Vinny gets, which we had, we had eliminated, which, which had. Eliminate, which had eliminate a lot of people, including, which had eliminate a lot of people, including our parents. We hadn't even told them about the second engagement, let, let alone the pregnancy. So that left the majority of people in the other room, either close friends, distant family, colleagues, or other third to their rebel people, all watching as she gets it down the aisle. Her white lace expensive, her white lace expensive wedding dress flowing behind her, the only woman in the room. Her sparkling eyes remain slowly uh, on me as she travels closer. A big warm smile spread across her face. Whenever Winnie smiles, everything is uncontrollable, as if I'm hypnotized as... If I'd be, if I'd be by anything she says, I would always. A grin spread across my face at the sight of her. At the sight of her. And I'm sure the dimple she loved so much is on display. She's the only person who managed to get that to happen. <laughs> In the back of the eye, there, in the back of the eye, there she is, standing before me. She timidly gazed up at me, her eyes hidden beneath feathering lashes, and I suddenly need to fight the urge to pull her in a kiss. Her too soon, though, I sh should be allowed to. She's my wife, after all. Legend of with a gentle grace, wearing delicately plucks the bouquet of flowers from Vinny's trembling hands before I replace them with my own. And then trying our fingers together in, in, in an attempt to calm her nerves, our eyes flick in between each other's eyes roaming over her face. Eyes roaming over over, is running over our faces, tracing the outline of our features. Pro, pro, me, permanently. Our lips, a grin playing, a grin playing on her plump, kissable ones as she beams at me. The efficient voice drawn on, filling the air with words that seem to float past us. And announced our attention was not on this ceremony unfolding before us, but rather there, there on each other. Our eyes locked as if engaged in a silent conversation, as if we're sending telepathic messages. We learned to read each other's eyes and f facial expressions like words on paper. I know every inch of any. 
head to toe. I can I can read her like an open book. I know every man, I know every emotion and thought behind those dark dull eyes. So telepathic messages wouldn't so telepathic messages wouldn't be so on wouldn't be so unrealistic right now. Suddenly the use of a name get both of our attention. Rather, will you please read your words? As well, hello, the sudden knot in my throat, my anxiety intensifying my ability to form coherent sentence vanishing into thin air. I didn't realize need didn't I didn't really, really need to memorize or rehearse my vows. Everything I have to say is everything I've already wrote. Two is everything I already believe. I would then need them in words on 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 the paper to know it. My eyes hastily peer off the peer off the efficient and back to winning. And he intensity in her eyes is like a magnet, pulling me in and erasing seeing any trace of nervousness from my body completely, as if it was only the two of us left in the room. She has the power to do that. I discreetly clear my throat, slightly struggling to show one new probability in front of everyone watching. By looking down at the patient and emotional Vinny is enough for me to eventually get the words out. From the moment I laid eyes on you, Vinny, my world has been flipped upside down in the best w way possible. I don't know what to accept but it's definitely wasn't thing but it definitely was in this you as soon as I start speaking, Vinny, I intensely glaze over a soft smile playing on her lips as she attempts to hold back tears. I've always wanted it. I've always wanted. I've always wanted you, even when I don't know what I wanted from the day I laid eyes on you, and forever. Where it stands. She looks up at me with the with the white grin, her sparkling eyes hanging onto every word that spills from my lips. You, you, you shall have you have shown me what what it means to love, to live and to have meaning in my life. I go on to say you're my reason, my 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 purpose, the the blood in my veins. You hold me together. You're oh, you're why I'm me, and I don't know where or, or who I'd be today if it wasn't for you. I may have not known how to love, but like breathing, loving you is the most natural feeling I've ever known. And for I, as long as I existed, you will always be loved. Now I'm ready, now I'm already vowed for. Now I'm already vowed to forever <laughs> loving and protecting you, but for the sake of this moment, I revow you for I revow for you, my Winnie. Winnie is trying to collect herself while smiling, widely giving in to, to the tears and not caring that they are running down her face. Vinny, would you read your vow? Her grace remained fixed on me, her hands turning ever so slightly as she pulls away and grabs a sheet of paper. And grabs a sheet of paper, she delicately wipes her, delicately wipes away a tear with the back of her hand, and with a soft, and with a soft exhale, and a gentle giggle, she begins to read. Even though you had only been in 
in my life for less than a week. I felt like I had known you forever, and there's certain circumstances I really knew that I had loved you, no matter how much I tried to deny it. A smart talks on my lips, finally hearing her admitted that she felt the same even in the beginning and knew she w was always mine. Never in my life would I have thought that I would have ended up in this situation, but never in my life do I think I want it any other way. I listened to her intently hanging in Hanging over every word, watching every facial expression she makes as she reads, watching the single tear cascade down her cheek before she swiftly brushes it away. You show me how I completely belong to you without ever asking for it, without even asking for anything. You show me what it is like to have a home to be loved. Her hand instinctively moved to her stomach with a smile as she continued. Used to be, you gave me everything and didn't, didn't even know I wanted it from a home to friends to a baby. I feel my smile grow wider as possible at the mere reminder of our baby. I chose you and I chose you over and over again without hesitation as uncertainty or second thought for the rest of my life. I will always pick you with a, with a sniffle. He loves, she lowers the page and her tearful eyes met, meet mine again. I couldn't help you, I couldn't help but wear a permanent grin on my face. My body only the urging more towards her, praying that they'll speed the process up some more. Rather, do you take Vinny to be your lovely weather wife to live together in matrimony to love, comfort, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, in sorrow, and in joy to have and to hold from this day forward as long as you, sh as long as you both shall live? As long as you show, as long as you both show them, don't, I don't take a second to hesitate, not even a breath before a grin plays on my lips. I do. Winning, do you take rather to be your lovely with your husband to live together in much harmony than to love, comfort, honor, and keep? him in sickness and in health and slower and joy to have and told to have and to hold from this day forward as long as you both shall live he grace luck unto mine mysterious glimmer dancing in her eyes teasing me with a fleeting moment of surprise a playful grin tugs at the corners of her lips and then then at the long glass, she utters those two simple words that send my heart in, in, into a frenzy. I do. I couldn't help but I I couldn't help but let a white smile grace my lips in response. That was all it took. For me to draw her in, her hand firmly gripping her waist, our lips collided with force, feeling her smile against my lips sinking into my arms as the room fell with, fills with cheers. I still remember the first time I kissed winning exactly how we are standing as, as, in as much as I love it the first time. This time is different. It's right. We finally managed to, manage to pull away massive smiles spread across our faces as she gazed into my eyes. This time she doesn't seem so upset, but at peace, I'm at peace. I no longer feel the ache, the weight on my shoulders. I waited for winning my entire life, and it was worth every minute.
Thanks for watching. See you guys next video. Bye guys.